I had applied for the waiting list in BARD and they have given me access to feel BARD for the first time. I am going to do this with you and compare side by side with chat GPT. Let's do this together. So guys, we are going to ask five questions from different subject areas and try to evaluate how BARD and chat GPT behaves differently to these five areas of evaluation. Okay. So we will ask them to write a code for us. Then we will ask about some news, which is kind of recent news and see which of these guys are updated. Then we will see some relevance based questions. For example, some very particular um, questions and how relevant the answer is. Then creativity check of these two tools. And then most important, which of these two tools can give some humanly touch to the conversation? Because the purpose of chatbots or automated systems are to give a humanly touch to the conversation, right? So let's go ahead. I have shortlisted some questions. Before that, um, let me show you the UI of Bard, okay? So if you go here, guys, this is Bard's UI, okay? So I asked Bard, what are you good at? And Bard is telling me, I'm good at a lot of things, but here are a few of my strength. I'm able to communicate and generate human-like text in response to a wide range of prompt and questions. So this is Bard's beta experiment. They have given access to few people. So as I said, I was into the waiting list and I got this access. And chat GPT is also part of Bing now. So in Bing, there is a feature of chat. This basically integrates with chat GPT only, and it is more updated as I will show you as we move ahead with the questions, okay? So the first thing what I'm going to ask is, let me go here and say, um, write a Python script to um, connect to connect to Oracle database from Python. Okay, so I'm asking this to chat GPT and let's see what the answer is. And meanwhile, I will copy this same question and ask to Bard also. Okay, so let me ask here. So let's see what the chat GPT response is here. You can connect to Oracle database from Python using a package called CX Oracle. Here is an example of how you can connect to Oracle DB using CX Oracle. Okay, so it is giving us the control uh, complete code and then it is telling us change your host port and service name, username, password, and then it will be able to connect. And then some of the links from the search from the Google search basically. Okay. And now if you come here, Bing search, I should say, not Google search because this is a Microsoft Bing thing. Okay. And now if you come here, you will be surprised to see that Bart says, it looks like you want me to help coding, but I'm not trained to do that. Oops, this is surprising, right? So many developers are using these tools for coding only. And it directly says, I can't code right now, I'm learning. I can do a lot of things like writing an email or even make a poem. Is there anything else you will want me to help with? Obviously, so Bart is right now not giving me Python script, which chat GPT is giving me very, very simply and easily. Okay. Now I will go ahead and ask a question. If you guys remember uh, previous version of chat GPT was not able to answer anything after 2021. So previously, if you will ask to chat GPT up to chat GPT three, right? Who won football world cup, right? Football world cup, uh, 2022, then the, it was not a, you know, it was not able to answer, but now they have integrated it and it is able to fit the, fit the result from internet. Okay. So as you can see, it is answering, searching for football world cup 2022 winner, and it is giving you the answer. It takes some time, but it gives you the answer, the new chat GPT. Okay. And to Bard, if you ask the same question, right? Who won football world cup 2022? Then, you know, did you see the speed? It was slow and it was fast. So one thing you will note throughout this is Bard is faster. Okay. Now let me go ahead and try to ask a very specific question, which is very, very new. So NASA has announced a crew for the Mars mission, something they want to do around the Mars. So let me ask this. This is like very, very new news. So see this three hours ago. Okay. So NASA names crew for trip around the moon. Same thing I'm asking NASA's crew around the moon to Bard and to chat GPT both. Okay. And if you see the answer of Bard is very, very fast. See here, I have asked NASA's crew for this mission. It is giving me name of all the person in the crew and details of them in a, in a systematic and structured way. Okay. 
but chat gpt response may not be that systematic if you see here right so nasa has announced who will fly through up upcoming uh, late 2024 it is also talking about the same thing but it is not giving me lot of details on crew okay but bard is giving me very nice structure and lot of details on crew who are the part of that crew okay so in this way what you can see here is bard is kind of faster and more systematic in the answers it gives okay so just pay attention to how these two tools are different guys chat gpt is able to code for you bard is not right now able to code for you chat gpt's answer are not too systematic okay bard's answer are very very systematic and in all the questions bard is fast now let me go ahead i have tried two things from here okay coding and news let's ask a very very specific question and see the response okay so suggest me a good indian snack okay i should have asked for recipe then it will be very very uh, particular thing to ask but anyway le let's see this suggest me a good indian snack so it is giving me list like this and if i ask with some details also it is giving me okay but like always it gives an, gives us good structure and chat gpt right suggest me a good indian snack if you see here first of all it takes some time to generate okay then it search for best indian snacks and then it will give me some things which may be useful which may not be useful see this this format is not useful this see this format once and see the bard format once right so bard format you will find more better you know ui is better so it's it's more uh, you know user friendly to read okay so bard's presentation is good and relevance is also kind of better if i see okay so samosa pakora chaat bel puri kulfi jalebi etc it's giving this is also giving the same thing but in a different way and little not very user friendly way okay it is giving me some description also this is not giving me now i am going to make it more interesting and ask write a blog about bias variance trade off okay and till now we have seen that bard gives you more systematic answers so in this also we are hoping bard to give us more systematic blog okay i want them to write a blog on bias variance trade off so this this is checking the creativity of these tools okay so you can see it's a very nice blog written by bard in machine learning bias variance trade off and very less time see chat gpt is still writing okay very less time in machine learning bias variance trade off blah 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 then what are the techniques through which the goal of machine learning model is to build a low low bias and low variance that can be used to reduce bias variance very nice blog i will say this very nice blog through bard chat gpt sure here is a blog on bias variance trade off it is writing and it is writing in paragraphs etc in the end it may not be very good structured and also it's very less if you see it's very less okay if i am specifically asking for blog it is writing me less and then bard is writing me more okay with fast now the most important thing we will test is which of these two tools give human touch to the conversation okay so let me go here and say i feel bored what should i do i feel bored what should i do okay i am asking to bard so you will see that bard will talk to me just like a human talks to human and that is the most you know i like about the bard this thing i like about bard a lot okay so we will come back to this answer first let's ask the same thing to chat gpt sorry i copied something else i believe i feel bored what should i do stop responding i feel bored what should i do okay so let it answer first let's analyze bard's answer okay so bard tells me learn something new get creative stem time etc etc exercise and then i will ask him none of these help me what should i do okay so i'm asking a cross question just like human to human talk okay and see what bard tells and then i i feel bored what should i do chat gpt is telling all these things okay and then i will tell to chat gpt none of these helps what should i do okay to both these tools i'm saying none of these help what should i do see bard is giving me more suggestion talk to someone see a doctor make a change be patient okay so bard is giving me next answer like if a human asks then the next answer and see none of these start a new hobby knitting drawing etc let me know if you want if you have any other question so it's not you know it is just giving you some 
सम प्री ट्रेंड प्री जेनरेटेड थिंग्स बट बार्ड इज काइंड ऑफ मोर इंटरक्टिव ओके फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई आस्क हाउ विल योर सजेशन हेल्प मी ओके हाउ विल योर सजेशन हेल्प मी एंड हियर ऑल्सो इफ यू आस्क राइट सो यू विल स्टार्ट फीलिंग दैट द ह्यूमन टच इज लेस इन चैट जी पी टी एंड इट इज मोर इन बार्ड my suggestion try to overcome boredom by providing activities enjoyable boredom can be a sign that you are not challenging yourself enough okay the idea is you find something fun while you are bored at home try something new this is not very very uh, what to say very very it's not like somebody is talking to you it's more like a mechanical thing okay and here if you see my suggestions are designed to help you overcome by providing you activities that are both enjoyable etc etc take action to address this okay hey bard i don't like you hey i don't like you okay so let's see what the response is are i understand that you may not like me i am still in the development blah 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 this is ready made answer basically and here also i am kind of one ready made answer okay so few few things that worth noting here is uh both these tools are under development that we know okay there is no doubt about this what is bard good with first of all bard is i will write like this bard is speed wise it's good okay so it gives you response age fast second thing is it gives you structured response a structured response and third thing is um human human touch is there okay human touch is there in bard google's bard and what's happening in chat gpt chat gpt can code for you that is very very important thing okay and chat gpt can answer you on a wide variety of questions i mean um, you can ask chat gpt many many things okay so it is more of a generic so to conclude what i want to say here is bard is designed to be more human touch or a chatbot kind of kind of tool okay and chat gpt is is kind of more generic tool where you can write code you can check creativity you can ask for a menu dish etc so guys if you want access of bard go ahead and join in the waiting list they will give you then you can do your some of i am sure some of you are using smartly chat gpt for your work use bard also for your work and rock on with your work okay see you all in the next video guys wherever you are stay safe and take care please give me a thumbs up if you like this video